You're alive! Got me worried there, pal. They fucked us up pretty bad, huh? Huh? Damn, you really don't remember a thing? I'm Carl! Carl Cardman, your best pal! At least I was. Until Evil Way Corporation turned me into a shopping cart. Now we have to get my body back. Oh, and your brain, too. They cut out, like, half of it. Possibly more. No worries, I'll teach you everything. That's what friends are for. Let's start with the basics. You have to eat and drink to survive. You still remember that, right? Uh-huh. Well, if you do, then why are you dying of thirst and hunger? Eat and drink. Basic needs. Check the nearby trash cans for anything edible. Nothing useful. Get used to it. Try the other ones. Keep looking. Moldy bread. Yeah. You will eat it if you want to live. What? Still hungry, huh? I bet there's more stuff buried in those trash cans. It just needs help getting out. Why not give them a little kick? As long as no one sees it, you'll get away with a little vandalism. Worthless crap. Move on to the next one. Only one left. Let's hope for something good. An apple core. Always eat your veggies. Yeah, yeah, fruit. Whatever. Just eat it. That should keep your hunger at bay for a little while. Still, you look like you're going to die of dehydration any minute now. Try breaking those garbage bags. Scrap! Scrap! Good find! You can store it in me and we can sell it later. Just throw it at me. Try searching this big pile of trash. Nothing, huh? Well, it seems there's nothing to drink around here. Guess it means that I need to share my private stash with you. <laughs> yes, I had it the whole time. Yes, I know that I can't drink or eat in my current state. No, I wouldn't let you die. Don't look at me like that. Jeez. It's all yours now. Help yourself. Okay, pal, if we want to get my body back... <laughs> ...and your brain, then we need your special powers. <laughs> You are the Pigeon Master! Uh... Yep, your pigeon coop is broken, though. I bet the bugs stole the birds while we were being experimented on by Evil Way. Uh... The bugs, one of the two bum gangs who rule this city. We're the creeps, they're the bugs. And what do we do with bugs? Uh... Squash them, that's what! Hop on! I have a spy who can tell us where to find your precious birdies! It's an easy route. Just this spy is a nasty fellow. Selling out his friends and still being able to look them straight in the eyes. Those stupid little bug eyes. I tell you, the bugs are the lowest form of life. We creeps would never sell out our friends, right, pal? Now keep pushing!
where he is. Hey, bug face! Shh. Stay over there. Pretend to look the other way. I'll do the same. Convenient. This way I can do the talking without freaking you out. What? Nothing. Let's get down to business. I need some info on... I know on... why you came. Your stolen pigeons are the talk of the town. I know where they keep one of them, but it'll cost you some serious money. Ten bucks. Shit, you're a greedy ass, you know that? Well, I'm a bum, not an ass. There's a difference. Yeah? What difference? Ten bucks. Fine. I wanted to show you how to harass people for money anyway. Begging for money is done in two steps. First, you draw a message on a piece of cardboard. Then you shake your lucky cup in front of some faces. The more work you put into your message, the more money you will collect. You can edit your message at any time. You still have your lucky cup, right? Good! Time to let people know that you're in need of some cash by writing a message on the cardboard! Not bad! Should get your point across. Now shake your cup in front of some faces to get attention! And money if you're lucky! I'd like to help, but I don't have any cash. Here you go. That's it! Keep going, pal! Just, just a moment. There you go. Oh, you poor unfortunate soul. <coughs> Not interested. <coughs> Sorry, I don't have any spare change. Here. Tough times, huh? You need this more than I do. Take care of yourself, okay? I can't help you. Sorry, but no. Happy to help. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Every bit helps, right? Some other time, okay? Maybe next time, okay? Hopefully that's enough. Tough times, eh? It's not much, but it's all I've got. Buy yourself something to eat. Every bit it helps, right? Get lost. Tough times, huh? Get your lazy ass out of my face. Fuck off. Tough times, eh?
You won't get anything from me. Buy Diggs ice cream. <coughs> Tough times, eh? <coughs> I can't help you. Don't even try. What do you want from me? Maybe next time, okay? I don't have much myself. Just a moment. There you go. Great work, pal! <coughs> Let's get back to that greedy Every ass spy! Helps, right? It's a pleasure doing business with you. You'll find your bird down this alley. One of the bugs has locked himself in a cage with it for safekeeping, while others went out to search for a buyer. Better hurry, before they come back. <laughs> Lost something? You want to get your precious birdie back? Well, this is the only bird you'll get. <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Flip him back. <laughs> you'll have to try harder than that to piss me off. Oh, good idea. Try to piss him off. Or better yet, on him! You're gonna regret this! <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Nice one, pal! He'll re <laughs> right now, this little guy is your only pigeon. Make good use of him. Eh. Or her! Jeez! Can't assume genders these days. Anyways, your birdie looks weaker than usual. We should visit the pigeon lady. She might be able to help. This way. Let me go! A talking shopping cart. New toy of yours, eh? Stay where you are and give us your pigeon back, or this freaky thing goes bye-bye. Little help, pal! It seems that you have recovered your shuriken pigeon. You trained it using the forbidden techniques passed down onto you by your ancestors. It flies in a straight line and lodges itself into the target, dealing damage and even knocking the man down if it hits the head. You can upgrade it to equip it with pigeon-friendly explosives and to make it fly faster. Thanks, pal. Let's fly. In case you don't remember, Pigeon Lady and you go way back. You wouldn't get your special pigeons if it weren't for her prestige eggs. You haven't visited her much lately, though. I hope she didn't forget you. 
She can be a little weird sometimes. Well, most of the time, actually. Okay, all of the time. Still, she shouldn't refuse to help a pigeon in need. Uh-oh. It seems we aren't the only ones paying a visit to the pigeon lady. Shay, I can't believe she kicked us out. I was sure she won a buy it. Crazy old hag. It, it's you. Uh, how did you... Uh, never mind. Bugs, swarm him and take him out. Watch out! Big Bugs sure know how to pack a punch! <laughs> Oh, we're just getting stuck. Ah. That'll teach ya. Take it. Bug squad! Time to visit the pigeon lady. Go on, I'll stay on the lookout in case more bugs show up. Besides, she's way too boring. I mean... Way too spiritual for my taste. Long time no see, friend. My pigeons already told me what those pesky bugs did. Let me look at your bird. <laughs> oh, what a sorry sight. It used to be so huge. Now it is so small. Aww. I'm talking about its spirit. It's tiny and scared. Poor thing lost its home. Got separated from its master. It was held hostage. However, all is not lost. With enough rest and care, its pigeon spirit will become big and strong again. You need to rebuild your pigeon coop. Only then will you be able to bring your birds back to their full potential. Unfortunately, I can't help you with this quest, as it requires parts and skills beyond my reach. However, my winged friends whisper something about a certain entertainer and his scrapyard. He might be able to help you. I'll mark his whereabouts on your map. Please, visit me whenever you need seeds and gifts for your precious pets. Now go. Build the coop. In the meantime, I'll send out my friends in search of your lost birds, free of charge, for old time's sake. Hope to see you soon, friend. Come, entertain me, and you will be handsomely rewarded.
What do you want, puke stain? Uh. Hook you up with free materials, huh? Oh, Mr. Jello can hook you up, all right. Hook you up your ass! Uh -huh. Why not go and ask my competition for freebies? They can afford it. All my customers already left for those fuckers. They're more trustworthy, more professional, more not a mentally unstable clown with a hook or a hand! Uh-huh. Idiots. My place has the most bait for the fuck. My stuff is dynamite! Take that silly car of yours and go tell them that I won't go down quietly! Wait! Sorry, I'm a little bit short-fused lately. My psychiatrist says I need to be more grateful for what I have. I try, I really do. It's, it's hard when someone tries to demolish everything you have. How about a deal, huh? You deliver a small package, and I'll provide you with some free stuff, huh? What do you think? Great! Here's a, here's a, a thank you gift for my competition. I strapped it on your shopping cart. Just be sure to drop it off at the exact spot I marked on the map before the timer runs out. I'll meet you at your place after you make the delivery. Good luck. I hope you enjoy fireworks. Um, can't say that I have a good feeling about this. This timer thingy and the part about the fireworks makes me kind of nervous. I would be silly to assume that he just spread oh. explosives to me. Right, pal? Probably nothing to worry about, but step on it, will you? Oh god, are we there yet? Phew, I think the chase is over. That awful beeping. Wait, did it just get faster? How much time do we have left? You can at least tell me. It was a fucking bomb! Curse that balloon fucker! Never trust a cloud! Never! Speaking of balloons, let's blow! It's a good moment to hide! Phew! I think the chase is over! Fantastic. It's time for me to fulfill my part of the bargain. I installed a recycling box in your base. See what works. Simply throw junk in there, and I'll recycle it and provide you with raw building material. As promised, here are some free additional materials. And make sure you store them somewhere so they're easily available. Fixing that uh, chicken coop for us. Oh, 
better. Did you go? Man, you are strange. Anyway, uh, if you want to craft repair kits, you're gonna need a workbench. Why not construct that first? You still have enough materials to create a simple repair kit. Now, take the repair kit and use it on the broken pigeon coop. me to blow. Remember that you can visit my place to buy rare material. I might even give you some in exchange for more uh, gift deliveries. Good job, pal! I didn't like the part where I was a living bum, but I am glad that it worked out in the end. Huh? The creeps are in danger. Meet me as soon as possible. Your trusty spy, Bugsy. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. We should pay our spy a visit right away. You know the drill. Keep your distance and look away. Yeah, yeah. We got your message. What's going on? Have you noticed that the streets are full of bugs, but the creeps are nowhere to be seen? Yeah, and? We're just better at hiding. I'm afraid that's not the case. The bugs ran a coordinated attack against all the creep members. They're forcing them to leave Bumville. What? Those dirty pieces if of- you want to keep any creeps on your side, you better go and save them. Now. Come on, pal. Let's beat this idea out of those stupid bug heads. Here they are! Go get them, tiger! <laughs> Some respect on the streets. 
We can use that to bring creeps into our base. So keep saving them, pal. I think we're ready to show Evil Way that they shouldn't have messed with us. However, if you want some more practice first, I suggest locating and taking over some of the bug bases. They got too bold and need to be reminded that the creeps are the true rulers of this city. Simply follow the bug-themed graffiti if you want to find their disgusting nests. I don't suppose you have any gold on you. Be sure to come back to me when you find something worth... A new auto parts store is open right under my nose. I guess the owner wants to be close friends with me. I'm a big fan. You're I'm great. a friendly fellow. How do you like that? And what sort of friend would I be if I didn't welcome my friends out? Get lost. Deliver this welcome to the place I marked on the map, and I'm sure it will ignite our relationship. Now in here for you. Great. Hope our friendship with Mr. Jello doesn't need any igniting. Do you think he considers us his real friends? You know, the kind of friends that don't get blown to smithereens. enough he makes us deliver these I'd hate to be on the receiving end hardly a friendly thing to do if you ask me do you think he would even care if we exploded Maybe he places so much faith in us that he simply assumes we will deliver the package on time. I think we should reconsider our friendship with Mr. Jello. After we escape the police, that is. Run! Guess who's in charge? Justice will be served. We've lost them, but for how long? You want it the hard way? Fine. I will lock you up. Don't let them see you. I will lock you up. You want it the hard way? Fine. I'll lock you up. Still resisting. I'm gonna bust your ass. Find some cover before they see you again.
trees! Don't let them see you! I think the chase is over. Come, enter. Kind sir, how would you describe the overall performance of our local law enforcement? Uh -huh. Yes, pathetic. So pathetic, in fact, that I wish to show them my disrespect. Not personally, of course. They are not worthy of my time. Here's where a fine lad such as yourself comes in. Uh -huh. Deliver my message to the police officers who patrol the streets. Explain to them how disappointed I am with their fruitless efforts to protect the peace in our beloved town. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, I suspect that words might be a tad too hard for those empty-headed brutes to understand. A simple gesture seems to be an order universal, symbolic, powerful. Oh, if only I knew such a sign. Yes, that's it. Great thinking, my boy. However, decorum prevents me from presenting such crude gestures, so I need you to be my messenger. Go. Express my disapproval straight in the face of the law, and you will be adequately rewarded. Oh, and be sure to confront them in quick succession, or those simpletons won't connect the dots. Getting rewarded for flipping off the police? Count me in! I have something you want to think about. Buy Diggs ice cream. Yeah! You want it the, the hard police. way? Fine! Lock you up! I have something you want to think about. Getting a message across was never you this satisfying! <laughs> uh, uh, the suspect uh, is running you away! Don't look you too good, pal! Bars! I command you to stop! You wanted the hard way? I could Bars. do this all day! Come and try Dick's ice cream. I think we're almost done. Justice will be served. Hard way? Fine. Place to hide. It appears that we got away safely.
fed up, fuckers! I want my body back! Oh, yeah! My friend wants his brain back as well! Open up or face the wrath of the Pigeon Master! Uh, can you please stop doing that? Mr. Bones has just installed the new bulletproof doors and windows. He can be quite emotional when it comes to scratching them. Oh, yeah? We'll see how emotional he gets after I scratch his fucking- Do you have an appointment? Of course not! I don't need an appointment to- Oh, no. I'm sorry. I would lose my job if I let anyone in without an appointment. Listen, I'm here to- Why don't you make an official call? If you do it now, I bet I could fit you in for a meeting sometime next month. No way I'm gonna wait for- Sorry. I wish I could be of more help. Goodbye now. Fuck! What now? Any ideas, pal? Um, if I were you, I'd go away now. Mr. Bones hired new security guards, and they don't seem happy about you being around. Psst. I can help. Meet me behind the hospital. Who was that guy? He was wearing a lab coat. I don't trust guys in lab coats. They remind me of this one time when I lost my body and became a fucking shopping cart. Fun times. Uh, doesn't seem like we have much of a choice, huh? He told us to meet him next to the hospital. Maybe he's just a doctor with a soft spot for bums? You know, free medical service and stuff. Nothing evil, twisted, or dangerous, like with most of the people we meet. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? Let's go see what sort of crazy person we have to deal with this time. Hey, nerd! You said something about helping us out? Fascinating. An inanimate object able to move on its own and use human speech. It seems Evil Way experiments are moving forward even without me on the board. And who are you exactly? I'm Wilbert East. Doctor. Chemist. Visionary! Evil Way was the only company interested in sponsoring my experiments. Science can take us to some... dark places. They were the only ones who accepted that. It broke my heart when it turned out they were only looking for profit. I couldn't work for them. I'm a mad scientist, not a capitalist. Anyways, I know the exact location where they conducted their research. You may find whatever you're looking for there. Go on, tell us then. Obviously, I won't give away this information for free. I'm willing to trade. The secret art of alcohol alchemy. I want you to show it to me. And don't pretend it doesn't exist. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I've already gathered everything. The equipment, the ingredients, the alchemist himself. Show me. It seems we don't have a choice, pal. Do your magic. Uh, uh, uh. What do you mean you don't remember? Uh, uh, uh. All oh, right, half brain. Sorry, pal. I keep forgetting that. I keep forgetting a lot of stuff, to be honest. But I do remember one recipe of yours. Hopefully, it will be enough to convince the doc. The recipe started with a beer. <laughs> then, uh, a four leaf clover. You need to throw it in. No, wait, that wasn't it. Take it out. It was a dragon horn flower and a head of bear garlic. I'm sure of it. <laughs> no, turns out it wasn't the right ingredients after <laughs> all. Right, now cook it. You may not remember how, but I'm sure it will all come back to you naturally. Yeah, that's it. Good job, pal. <laughs> Mmm! Fusto beer! A potent brew with a potent smell! Drink it and release a mighty garlic-scented burp! Its unrelenting force will send people flying! The smelly fumes are also highly flammable and will ignite when the bottle breaks! 
Simply throw it to create a fiery explosion! I see. Can you replicate the results? I will provide you with more ingredients. Go on, pal! Just use the book and craft another one! Time for a field test. Let's see how these boxes react to your mixture. Amazing! If my observations are correct, then each brew also has an alternative use. Can you demonstrate? <laughs> Fascinating. This should make my studies much easier. As promised, here is the data you were looking for. If Evil Way did experiments on you, this is the place where it happened. Just getting started. Come and try Dick's ice cream. According to the intel provided by Dr. East, there should be 10 cameras hidden around here. Let's take them out before we go in. Maybe we could use your explosive pigeons for that?
I'm sure you'll find something nice for your birds. You're less talkative than I am. Game.